Hey, Melanin Nation, Melanin Gang, what's poppin', kings and queens? It's your girl, I am Nubia with I Am Nubia and Customs. And I know I'm all here looking like Minister Society, you know what I'm saying? But it's a reason for that. So yesterday, I was doing my hair. Trying to give me a little box braids with some hair I left over. But no, couldn't be great. Parts came out shitty, braids crispy. So, you know, I was mad. Oh, also, by the way, if you see my lashes a little jacked up, don't worry about that. They were going to get reapplied today. I just slept a little hard last night. <laughs> so, we not even going to talk about those. But on to what this tutorial is about, okay? We're... So, my perks came out shitty. I just wanted some big braids. So, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm about to attempt to try to do these puzzle parts. Because I've been wanting to do some for a minute. Not everybody's going to come out the same. Not everybody head shape is the same. And y'all know I'm from the land of the peanut people. When it comes to the size of my head. So. That's all I'm going to say. But. Last night, after I took down what I did do, I had like 12 braids in my head. I have enough hair to do at least 14 braids in my head. So, I was like, I need to figure out a way to part this shit. So, I came up with, you know, I'm sorry if the flashback is on there. So, when I looked up the tutorials for this, they started off with a zigzag part in the back, which is what I did. And I went all the way across and it gave me those three ponytails in the back for my um start off so this is one two and three if you can see that part it goes all the way across in a zigzag like motion and then i came onto the sides and i did another zigzag part right there as well on the side and then i did the other side and as i said they're not exactly the same but you can see how, I'm sorry y'all, I'm struggling. I attempted to do that zigzag right here. And then after I got those zigzags, I went ahead and just put that middle one in a ponytail. And being that they're puzzle pieces, they're all gonna be a little bit different, but I want some of the parts to line up and have dimension and stuff. So I'm just gonna say mine is a mosaic pattern versus a puzzle pattern. So, you know, I gotta be teeny extra so what i'm gonna do is being that i like the way these parts are going i'm probably just gonna go ahead and braid these up because i already have the hair sitting here my vanity is dirty y'all so don't judge my life but um i already got the hair sitting here from when i had took it out um and I just use that, um, the hair, the braiding hair I always use for all my other tutorials. So if you've seen any of my braiding hair tutorials, it's the same hair I always use. I forgot. I think it's like the three times more free tress hair. Um, and it comes with three bundles inside one pack for like $10 or something like that. And it's fairly long because, and I taper mine a little bit too. So it comes down to my waist length. Um. So, yeah, I just wanted to come show y'all the little base of the pattern. So, what you want to do is you want to start in the back with a zigzag part and then go from there with your desired parts. Like I said, everybody's hair is going to be a little bit different. All the tutorials I've seen, nobody here looks exactly the same. So, make it your own, make it fun, make it, you know, however you want to do it. Um, this is fresh wash hair. I did not go in with shampoo. I only co-washed my hair. So I went in with some conditioner, scrubbed my scalp real good, rinsed it out. Then I went back in with my repair and my Shea Moisture conditioner. And I let that set for um, a good, like, 15 minutes or so. I didn't do a deep one like I normally do. Y'all know me, I leave mine overnight or for, like, hours at a time. But I didn't do that this time. I'm trying to get it in and out. So, and then I just blue dried it. And on the base, we are using beeswax. Um, the Murray, if you know the one here, it's Murray's beeswax. They have a black one, they have a clear one. So I would say get the clear one or yellow, however you want to say this is. 
um, because the black beeswax, it does come off black. Or if you buy black edge control, it will come off black onto your clothes, your pillowcases, and all that. And if you don't want nothing black on your clothes and your pillowcases, I would say always get clear products. Um, yeah, I know I got my Gorilla Glue for my edges. Um, we got a comb for, you know, defining the parts because I don't know where my needlepoint rat tail is. We got our edge brush. A comb with multiple dimensions on it. Um, we are doing rubber band method. And I also have some duck clips to clip hair out the way while I'm braiding and stuff. And just in case um, I might need this, I did get some black gel. And I got some of the olive oil gel. So if need be, I can mix this with the beeswax and make like my own edge control. Um... And that's pretty much all you will need. And after I got done washing my hair, I did grease my scalp with castor oil. That is what I prefer to grease my scalp with when I don't use the oil that I made myself. And this is the castor oil that I use. Now, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, I use castor oil for everything. I use it for facials. I use it for my hair. I use it for my body. I use it for all types of stuff. I eat it. All that. Um, vaginal packs. All that type of stuff. Castor oil packs for my stomach. When I do my um, detoxes for my feet. All of that. You know what I'm saying? I'll put some of that in there. Um, so yeah. We're going to go ahead and get these braided up. But I'm probably going to get me like a snack or something. And then yeah. Um, also don't be scared to rubber re-rubber band anything that you think that needs to be re-rubber band. You know what I'm saying? You want this crispy and everything to your liking. So, yeah, my part is probably going to be like a side part because I feel like this hair is going to fall over here and these braids that's going to be left over is going to fall more to this side. So, and I, right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I have eight ponytails in my head right now. Nine. 10 so I, I probably end up with like 11 to 12 braids in my hair like i had before but being that the parts are big you know how that goes so yeah and depending on how my parting is i might make certain braids a little bit bigger depending on the space of the part so just make sure that you're paying attention to that so that your illusion is coming out you know how you want your illusion to be for your hair so all right you guys i'll get back in a second so y'all can see what's popping ciao this you want to make sure that you're clipping all that extra hair out the way so you're cutting down on breakage of your hair and things of that nature so this is my first section that I'm gonna go ahead and braid off so yeah you just want to make sure that all that hair is pulled and took out the way because if not it's gonna get in the braid and when you snag it it's gonna break your hair off so it's always remember duck clips or a ponytail holder or something, some type of clip, something. And I'm going to do that to each section as I braid. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the Pro Style Gel and I'm putting it right at the, um, right at the seam where you start your braid off at. You just want to make sure that none of that hair is tangled up because it will show in your braid. You only want to use like a little bit. Just put some on your fingers and rub and just rub on the hair because you don't want the hair too, too wet. And it dries fairly fast. The hair just be a little damp. And as I get down to the bottoms as I'm braiding, like when I get to where my real hair is, I put more beeswax onto the braid. And also, I also like to twist my braid because um, I don't over braid, I under braid. So, always remember to twist your braid to the direction where it's easier for you to braid down after you get it braided to a certain point. And it'll be easier to grip and hold control and make sure that your braid comes out crispy. 
and it also won't have that lumpiness to your braid like everything just come out seamless and as you see me doing um i do go down the shaft of my hair with beeswax and this is just to condition the hair get everything smooth and i separate that into two and as when i showed you the hair the hair was already bundled into how it needed to be so all i did was took one latch like being like one of these and added it to here and then read um lashed it to make my thickness and what you want to do is grip one side with both you have two of these fingers you're gonna stick your index finger in between that other loop and your middle finger is gonna go under and that is gonna set you up for to do your braid then you're gonna go on top and that hair that's separated into two between your middle finger and your index finger is what's gonna get added to those two other strands and then you're gonna have one strand of weave that's by itself you just want to make sure you get close up on that rubber band um if you want your rubber bands to show or not it's totally up to you either or it's fine um i done did both before i done showed rubber bands and then i done did the ones where the rubber band really doesn't show and as you see it's come out crispy for the start of your braid and i'm sorry y'all one of these days I'm gonna get a camera for y'all. So that way, this is not so ghetto. So, what I mean by flip your braid, so I'm gonna have to flip it this way, because that's the angle without putting too much tension at my base. And you just want to make sure all that other hair is straight. Like I said, if not, it will show. It's kind of hard to explain this while you're doing it. So I might have to just braid it down a little bit longer this way. Before I flip it. Okay, now as you see, my real hair is starting to get right there. So I'm putting some more of these wax on there. And just continue to braid down. And I'm trying to twist in my hair in as I'm doing this. That way. I know them hairs are getting down in there how they're supposed to. If I was doing somebody else's hair, it would be easier for me to um, get that in there. But I kind of don't like that because you can kind of see my hair still. So I'm just going to undo it a little bit. Grab some more of these legs. And don't be scared to take your braid down a little bit. Like, that is part of the process when you're braiding. You don't want to get all the way down to the end of your braid just to be like, oh, I don't like it. And it's ugly. Now you got to take down the whole damn braid just to get to the part where your real hair is at. It's going to cut into so much of your time. It's not even funny. Um, I like to do my edges at the end of everything. Also, so yeah, and then when I flip it back over, it's all flat. But right now, I'm braiding it flipped over that way I can braid. So, I don't know, is this over braiding or under braiding? I don't fucking know. I think I over braid, so yeah, because the other way would be under braiding, and then there's a little bit more beeswax. Slide it down one strand of the hair, and it'll get on the rest of it from it being on your fingers. 
And then at the end, I will go back in and grease my parts and everything. Yo, I use this Pro Style Gel in forever. Like, the smell is bringing back, like, so many memories from high school. It's, like, not even funny. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I'm just going to repeat this step on all the rest of my ponytails that I still have up. And then um, when I get ready to part the top, I'm going to show you all the parts and stuff and how I do my edges and everything. So, just remember, if you are using recycled hair just to, um, or new hair, just remember to um, get your thickness to your liking as far as the thickness for the braid. Um... Make sure that your parts are coming out crispy to your liking and everything is lining up how it's supposed to line up. And um, make sure that you have enough hair for the parts that you are making. Go on the shaft of the weave hair with some type of gel or edge control that you're using in your hair or whatever works best for your liking. And remember to coat your hair with beeswax or whatever gem or however whatever works for your hair the best because i know like i said everybody hair type is a little different so however with that then as your braiding still apply what you need to your braids so that your braids are coming out seamless and you are good to go um i tried my best with trying to show y'all how to start off a braid um i did not go to cosmetology school or anything like that i just been braiding since I was like in kindergarten. <laughs> so, um, and then I started braiding with weave when I was like in sixth grade. And I'm 27 now. So, um, if I was to ever get a mannequin head or do somebody else's head, I'd probably be able to show y'all a little bit better. But it's kind of hard to hold my phone and show y'all at the same time. So, I'm sorry about that, um, kings and queens. But we're going to get it together. We're going to get it together, y'all. And I was looking through my videos and my highest view on one of my videos is almost to 300 views. And I'm like, so proud of myself. And then my second highest one, it has like 150. So I'm like, yes. And they're both hair tutorials, even though I started off my channel for DIY stuff. But I mean, I guess hair tutorial is DIY because I was doing it on myself. So, yeah, I just thought that was really, really cool, and I also been doing shout outs and stuff on my health part of my journey on my channel, so, you know, just go check that out, I got some DIYs in mind that I want to do, or I might just come on here and put, like, a whole bunch of them together where I don't have, like, all the footage of it, but I have enough footage to put a clip together to show y'all what the product came out like once I was done um like a couple hoodies and stuff like that that I already gave to the customer and stuff um, so yeah just be on the lookout for that you know just scrunch your braid however you need to do it and So I got most of the braids put in there. Like I said, don't come for my edges. They're not done yet. <laughs> and I really didn't want to go back through and redo all of my ponytails. So I just kept like, the beeswax base. Like I said, just use whatever you want to your liking. This is my last ponytail that I just made for that little group of hair that was up there. So it just goes across like that. And across like that. And then I'm going to do a zigzag part for this and make this into two. And then our whole head should be done. So yeah, it just falls real nice. And then when I'll just get the ball in, it'll be how it's supposed to be. Put our edges on. We're going to get in the bathtub. We're going to redo our lashes. Yes. Might put on some brows today. You know, got to pull up on Bay looking like a daddy. You feel me? <laughs> All right. So 
Yeah, like I was saying, probably just gonna do this a zigzag part to keep up with that zigzag part and keep the front, you know, kind of how it's supposed to be. And yeah, I'm digging it. Okay, and I have enough hair to finish, so hallelujah for that. All right, I'm gonna come back to y'all when all the edges and everything is done. So I hope that your hair is coming out to your liking, you know, let's play around with it. And this is also a style that you, you know, could just take down a braid at a time and touch up the parts like how you would do a little girl's hair and stuff. That's why I love box braids when they're, you know, in a bigger form or whatnot. It's real easy to manage and keep up. So, all right. See y'all in a minute, kings and queens. Okay, y'all, so I am all done with my hair, and I think it got to grow on me a little bit, but for the most part, I like it. I just went ahead and did my brows, put on these lashes. I don't like these lashes either. I just don't like the little flare of them. Yeah, I don't know. Something about those. But, that's what the edges and stuff done. Yeah. Real simple, real pretty. You know, I'm sorry that the light is up in there like that. I'm trying to get it. Now you can just see my little parts and stuff. Um, all together, I want to say it's like 12 or 11 braids in my head. Yeah, because I had 8. Nine, ten, yeah, so I got like 12 so yeah, my bad. Yeah, my phone just dropped y'all. But yeah, I got like 12 braids in my head. And right now, um, I have went ahead and boiled me some water. And just put it in a big cup like this. And I put a little bit of some vitamin E oil in there. Just to give it a little bit of shine. Um, make sure that you do have a towel that's like a size of a hand towel or whatnot. Because... You don't want to burn yourself this water. And I'm only dipping them because they do look a little bit, you know, stiff on the ends. And this is just to get the stiffness out and to seal them. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip these. And I'm going to hold my hand right here because I don't want my edges to get flared up. Because I did not press my um, hair before I did this. I just washed and blow dried it. And the type of hair I got, oh my god. I'm just dipping that other braid out from the other side in there a little bit more. Um, I'm not trying to get them like super, super crisp like that because, like I said, I probably am going to be taking this down and doing the braids here and there because I'm team natural. And the braids do go down to about waist length. I didn't feather this hair. I normally feather my hair, but I just said fuck it. Because <laughs> some of the hair was shorter anyways. Um, that brown pack that I used. Because I did use some recycled hair. So now they're not all stiff and stuff. They'll lay and swing how they're supposed to. And I look all crazy. And then I'm just going to dip it again. But switch sides because I just felt like that other side got in there real good and this side didn't. And just hold my hand up there again. And pull those out. And I put the towel on there. I just put it on there gently. And I lift it up. I don't just slide it down the braid because that's going to cause frizz too. And I know it's probably like common sense, but you know, like I said, not everybody does hair or know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to hair. So. so I 
wish I had a camera woman or something. Very cute and stylish. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you like this hair tutorial. If you want a detailed, updated brow tutorial as well, just...